Hello you guys and welcome back to this quick tutorial video. So I want to show you guys how to add this uh, floating drawing tools toolbar um, on Ninja Trader. So we all love this feature that we have here on TradingView. It makes our job really, really easy. So when we are chart and analyzing, um, so it makes everything pretty easy. We could just click on the, the lines that we like uh, and want to uh, have on the charts here it's pretty fast it's pretty easy but if you wanted some advanced lines or advanced features we could always click on the side on this arrow on the side of every uh, category here so uh, this uh, how this is how it looks on trading view but on ninja trader i i have the drawing the the floating drawing tools here but it took me a while to understand how to pull that out on the chart so if you wanted to draw something you could always go back to this pen here and then um, you know just uh, plot it on your charts get things that you want to get from here and you could also go to these uh, extended uh, drop downs and you could find whatever you want to find of course uh, or, or whatever you want for your charts so for you guys to um, get this floating bar uh, on your charts, we're gonna create a new chart. Okay, I'm just gonna create a new chart because there I wouldn't have anything, it would be brand new, and that way I could show you better how to add that. So you could just create a new, I, I bet this, this is how uh, your uh, charts look like now. So right click, go to indicators, okay, and then scroll down um under indicators or just click on letter d okay and you could have this drawing tool style here double click on that and it will be added under configured once you have that you could just click on that uh, and then you could see on the right side here of this dialogue you could see properties and here you could set everything that you want uh, like star or like click favorites on anything that you want to show on your the drawing tool the the floating drawing tools of course so uh, down below drawing tools you could highlight everything that you want to have on the screen for me i already uh, you as you can see i have these uh, boxes checked uh, because i saved um this drawing tool as a template that's the reason it appears with all the boxes being checked for me so i don't have to go back like compare which tools i uh, i used on the other chart so I, I saved that as a chart as you can see here once you select the ones that you want to have on the screen i'd recommend you guys to also save that as a screen you could click on the template and then save and then save as a uh, default so for the purpose of this video i'm just going to click apply so that you could see what i'm talking about now everything appears here on this uh, on the side and from there let's click ok and now you could um, you know just draw anything that you want this is a box and then you have uh, this uh, triangular no, i mean this rectangular and then the circle the fibonacci if you wanted to for example and uh, the line the, the the arrows all these things okay and the ruler of course that we need and i also have um this risk reward i think risk reward um it just measures risk reward uh parameters before you enter a trade so a couple of more things i want to show you guys on this tool you go back to indicators and you click make sure you click here on drawing tool style and uh you could apply this to all of the all of the the charts that you have of course by clicking input series but i want what i want to what i want you to focus on now is this rows the thing that says rows here now it says one okay so this rows we only have one row so if we only want want to have one row as you can see this is one row it contains all of these tools but if i if i clicked two i will have two rows okay that contains all of these tools and if I wanted to have this uh, this uh, floating toolbar, like the drawing toolbar, on the side appearing the same as it appears on 
and um, trading view like so you will have to come back here count how many tools you have here so we might have one two three four five six seven eight nine so nine uh, on the top and nine below on the bottom so that is 18. so now if i clicked on that it's gonna appear like so and there i could move it anywhere i want on the side here up uh, on the top here on the top left side and so on i don't like to have it appear like so i could just click somewhere here and it will bring me to the chart parameters of course and i could just set it back to one where i could um you know have it at the bottom as as so okay um on the other charts i also have it here because it doesn't really bother me it doesn't interfere with my uh, chart visuals i can still see everything on the screen and i want to show you a couple of uh, more things guys on this so if you clicked here and you wanted to create more of these green arrows um you could just come here and, and click stay on drawing mode or uh, drawing mode okay and once you click on this now it'll keep printing these arrows until until um until you click on the right button on your um mouse or you click escape on your keyboard okay once you do that then i just clicked on the right button on my mouse and then now i cannot uh, um, i cannot print any more of these arrows but if i wanted to um um to keep uh, like to draw more than one box for example then i i have to just uh keep check this box here okay um i don't use it to be honest but this is something that you guys might find interesting um well that's it i think i've covered everything that i wanted to cover on this video i wish you guys uh, have enjoyed watching this video if you had any more thoughts or questions or uh, ideas on uh, uh, future videos just let me know in the comment section if you like this video make sure you hit the subscribe button like button and comment down uh, and to support this channel i'm uh, i'm just starting out i hope you enjoyed the audiobooks that i uploaded on the channel thank you so much and have a great day